Hi, I'm Katie. I'm an illustrator and I did the illustrations for Who Am I? The thing I enjoyed most about working on the book was everything about working on the book. Um, I've come to illustration quite late in life. It's been quite a journey getting to this point and summoning the courage to do the thing I've always wanted to do. So I just loved everything. Um, it was a real honour to be asked. I loved coming up with the drawings and the ideas. I liked drawing them. I loved painting them. Um, I loved showing them to Liz. Yeah, everything about it was brilliant and exciting. I guess I didn't really have any expectations of how the final book would look. Um, and it succeeded any that I did have anyway, because look at it, it's beautiful. Um, it's so such a pleasing little size. It's stunning and warm and I, yeah, I do, I, it's just lush, isn't it? Okay, so the hardest part of the process, I guess, like any project or anything, um, was making a start. I, it's a bit like when you go for a run, you know, those first five minutes where it's really challenging, your legs hurt, your brain screaming at you to stop and asking you why on earth you ever started doing this thing. Um, and it was the same with drawing. Uh, when I, I, so I read the text a few times and uh, then I sat down with my, my blank page in front of me and I, yeah, I picked out the illustration that I most that most easily sprang to mind. But even then it was a bit tricky at first and I had to do some warm up drawings. I think I drew the circle in the book over and over again, just to get a kind of flow going. And then once I pushed past that kind of initial difficult, you know, toxic stage, I kind of found a place where I felt much more relaxed and confident and free. And then the illustrations kind of emerged rather than me forcing them or trying to fit into a particular idea. So yeah, I think the hardest part was, was the beginning. Um, I have learned that I definitely want to be an illustrator for the rest of my life and that I never want to stop drawing or reading or writing or doing all of those things together. Um, so really it's just confirmed what I already knew, which is that this is the direction and path for me to follow. <laughs> Working with Liz as on a first project, I mean, obviously I've got nothing to compare it to, but it was really just a dream come true. Liz knows me a little bit anyway, but had also read my blog and could see that um, the things that matter to me and the subject matter that I often kind of write and, and illustrate is very similar to what she was trying to achieve with Who Am I? And so it just felt like a really perfect fit. We, we see life and things in a very similar way. I understood what she was trying to do and I loved the way that she was trying to do it and the, the stories that she'd used and the, the methods. Um, and she just gave me loads and loads of creative freedom, really just sort of said, here's the story, here's what I wanna do, you do your thing. And I mean, as an illustrator, that's, you can't ask for more than that, can you? So really it's been amazing and I would work with Liz a million times over. Well, I have written three children's stories. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I've written two, and I've got one sort of at the beginning stages, and so I'm illustrating my own stories, which, as it turns out, is quite, quite a painful process, and I'm having to kind of... Um, fight a few demons of my own so this book I think is going to come in really handy to actually help me finish the projects the personal projects that I'm working on at the moment